You don't even have to ask. Just throw 15 of them in the bag, people. Good morning. Where are you going, Addison? You're cracking your back. You're cracking your. <laughs> oh, crack. Oh, crack. Love you, Kato. Have a great day. I'll fix your neck later, okay? Deal. It's colder out here than I expected it to be. It's taking us a while. We have to pop all the bubbles in the ice. This is one of the awesome things about spring. Can you blow steam for me? We may have taken long enough that Addison was actually late for school. There were no kids outside because they usually line up outside and then go in, so it was kind of funny. I had to pop her in the door and then I walked away and I was mostly out of the schoolyard and I realized I still had her backpack. You just get so used to having something over your shoulder, probably a mom thing too. You're used to carrying things all the time that all of a sudden it was like, oh no, I need to hurry up and go back before it's too late. So I ran it back to the school and then I couldn't remember her teacher's name. Isn't that crazy? But we haven't really met. I see her outside, but we haven't honestly met really face to face because of COVID. This big buck right here. And the schoolyard is literally right there. Off to get the girls from school. <laughs> Clancy's grumbling about how fast people go down the alley and coming up with solutions. I said that we should build a big speed bump and he's like going for Kenya potholes and stuff like that. Panamanian potholes. We could just dig holes in the road. We've got one little munchkin. Thought he's helping to make a snow pile. The girls stopped to play with the neighbor kids for a few minutes because they were outside when we walked past. Clancy and I came on home because he has a meeting he has to get to. We're having easy supper tonight, as easy as it gets. Meatballs that I picked up from Superstore the other day. Actually, Clancy picked them out and actually like full on cheater guys. I actually have already made spaghetti sauce, but I'd, as I mentioned in one of my Costco vlogs, they've taken the sugar out of this and it's much better. It used to be so, so sweet. So I'm gonna kind of doctor it up a little bit. Coco's going nuts. Bailey is feeling well enough to take her for a walk, which is awesome. <laughs> Do you have doggy bags? Oh yeah. I've got our meatballs and marinara sauce going on here. And I've decided that I'm going to make some breadsticks. Kieran got something in the mail today. He's been waiting for these for a while. Figured since he's driving, he needed some sunglasses. Is it better? Mm-hmm. Yep. So Tiggy has a math test tomorrow. Her midterm is actually tomorrow, not last week, like we kind of thought it was. So we're just working through some schoolwork. She had a lot of dishes to do tonight and they played outside until supper time. So we're just trying to work through some of these questions, make sure that she knows what she's doing. Addie's off to bed now. How was Animal Crossing? Good. Good. Are you going to read your library book? Yeah, okay. My Osmo has a problem with the SD card, so I had to stop using it and I've switched back over to my cell phone for a little while. <laughs> Hopefully we can get that fixed. Clancy was gonna work on it for me, but it's just kind of at his mercy whenever he has a chance to do that. I'm going to bed. I've got a massive headache and I can't seem to ditch it. It's only after nine, but I figure rather than having everybody with, have the lights off and the TV off downstairs, I might as well be in bed. Bailey has an appointment tomorrow for an ultrasound on her stomach to see if we can figure out what's going on there. And then afterwards, if she feels up to it, she's going to do the x-ray of her spine to rule out rheumatoid arthritis. So I have to get up and get going tomorrow, get the kids to school and have everything organized and ready to go for that part of the morning. 
I have to decide whether or not to take Abby with us tomorrow because she's home from school. The next day. We've got this day started. I got Kato off to school and take actually walked herself to school again this morning so that she could be there and she wouldn't have to leave at the same time as us. It gave her a couple more minutes and she doesn't like it when I drop Caden off first. So when we get out late, I have to drop Caden off first. Otherwise I can't even get out of her school parking lot to get him to school and it makes him late. I am cleaning up the leftover breakfast mess. The cat is being needy. Bailey has a couple of appointments that we've got to get to. As you can see, I still need to get ready to go for the day. Sweet Addie is here. Got to find some things for her to do while I'm gone. I was wondering if I would take her with me, but the weather's not going to be warm enough and I'm just going to be sitting in the truck the whole time. Just sitting here waiting for Bailey. I've actually been waiting for quite a while. It's been over an hour. She did text me to say that she's getting into her x-ray. She's just waiting for a tech to come in. So I'm just hanging out here. Bailey's over in that building over there. Again, I'm back on my cell phone. Sorry guys, I have to get Clancy to fix the other thing for me. This is a one-way street that I'm parked on and people keep coming down at the wrong direction and it's been very entertaining. We're home and we come bearing treats. What do you think? Did you miss us? Yeah? Did you get lunch? Yep. Good. Bailey survived her whole ordeal of ultrasound and x-ray and all that jazz and now she has food. Oh, do you want french fries, Coco's? Did you bring the ketchup in? <laughs> okay, pet peeve right now. Why do places sell you french fries and not ask you if you want ketchup? Of course I want ketchup. You don't even have to ask. Just throw 15 of them in the bag, people. What are you gonna choose? I don't know. <laughs> this one just looks really awkward. It looks awkward. Yeah, it doesn't look like a donut. Which one are you going to choose? Or should we cut them in half so you can have more than one half? Oh, can I have the half of each one? Half of this one, half of... Yeah, half of 12 one, of them. What do you think, Daddy? Half of... Oh. That's all. We are off to get Tegan. It feels really weird to use my phone again after being able to use my Osmo. It's definitely going to make me appreciate using that again when it gets up and running. Paddles never get old. She's hurrying, but also trying not to get wet. What are you doing, Addie? So I gave a two minute warning and they started a game of grounders. I don't think that those two go together very well. I do want to get home. I actually didn't take anything out for supper. I was kind of, you know, focused on getting Bailey to her appointments and then we were there for a while. And then I got home and I was super dozy, so here we are. I think we're just going to have leftovers. Clancy had wanted to make some meatball subs, so I think that may be in order today just because I didn't plan ahead. I've reached the point where if I get one more email that tells me that my next vacation is waiting for me, I'm going to scream. Or else I'm going to reply and say, hey, please tell my next vacation that I'm waiting for it too. Neighbor kids were outside as we walked past, so once again, they are off playing with the neighbor kids. It's beautiful out. They might as well be outside. But I gave Tegan her watch, which I attempted to do on the weekend, and that didn't work out very well. I'm trying to teach her to keep track of the time and come home when she's supposed to. So today we're trying it again. Hopefully it works. Hopefully she checks. I gave her the time to leave so that she would be home at the right time. We want to teach her that responsibility and it's not coming easily at this point. We're studying social studies. Science. Science. Making supper. Uh, Multitasking here. She, and Tiki is telling me about a screw. She's trying to find examples of them. Oh, you know the hose? that you drill the things with? Yeah, one of the head buttons. Yeah, the drill. Yeah. <laughs> Gonna take the most awkward video ever. Everybody's trying to eat their ginormous meatball subs. What do you think? Good. They look good. Good job. Yours doesn't look pretty, but it looks good. And Mr. Caden is working on some art for school. 
an assignment that needed to get done. So he's just animating it, getting it all going. We're making sure that we're all up to date on these assignments. So Daddy is helping Tiggy because she's learning about simple machines and they haven't done any hands-on work at school. But we happen to have some pretty good resources at home here due to the fact that we were homeschooling before. Okay, we've got cowgirl Addison. Addison has taken my Othello board and we are playing a pattern game before she heads off to bed. She just built a big pattern and now it's my turn. I have to build her a pattern to check out. My turn to build the pattern.